Um, the Asian Avengers. So weak. The, the, the Asian <laughs> Avengers. So weak. So so fuckable, bro. You know? Whoa. Whoa. There's five Asian guys together. Got, got wow. Together. <laughs> Did you ever um, go through a stealing phase? Do I think everyone should have a gun? Maybe. You can look me up. I don't care. I'll fight you. I don't care. You want to get high as fuck? You want to get high? You like opium? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Asian Not Asian Podcast, the podcast where two Asian guys not from Asia talk about American issues no American gives a fuck about. I'm your host, Fumi Abe. I'm Mike Nguyen. And welcome. This is our 58th episode. Ooh. Wow. We're getting up there, man. Yeah, we are. Um, quick shout out to our network listening party and Canal Street Radio. Check those guys on, uh, on Instagram, at Listening Party Presents and at Canal Street Market. Also, if you are listening on your phones right now via iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, whatever, take a screenshot. Go ahead and take that screenshot. And post it on Instagram and tag us at Asian Not Asian Pod and tell us what you think about the first 10 seconds of this episode. Hell yeah. Regram it. It's been helping. People have been doing that. I think it does help a lot. Um, we just came back. Oh, no, wait. I don't want to do that yet. Um, oh, should we do Patreon first? What should we do? Let's do Patreon. Oh, can I plug something real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So uh, this coming Saturday, April 6th, I am doing a charity th- benefits i guess for uh, nyu vsa uh they're raising uh funds for a good cause so um come out to that you can find that on uh if you uh uh it's called min m-i-n-h uh and uh you can find it on my instagram and various other things can they can anyone just go it's anyone a, can come yeah are it's, you sure it's nyu a, security is like insane uh it's in their public space it's a benefit so it's at the kimmel right kimmel center uh it's not at kimmel it's at another like, okay. other space but yeah Come through. It's a for a good cause. It'll be funny. Me, David, Nguyen, <laughs> Brian Yang. Yeah, good. go to the show, everybody. Yeah. Um, let's do this. Pay- no, how do we usually do this? We do story of the week first, right? We do story of the week. Okay, let's do story of the week. Okay. So, Mike and I, we just uh, oh, wait, we just got back. What? No, let's do let's do Patreon first. Who do Patreon? Yeah, first? let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's do. <laughs> we edit this. I swear, guys, we do this all the time. <laughs> um, let's do. Uh, let's give a shout out to our new Patreon subscribers. Um, if you don't know what we're doing right now, we always give a shout out to our newest members, our newest donors. And uh, we honor them by playing a game where we guess what <laughs> ethnicity they are based on their last name. Honor them. We honor them. <laughs> so this week we have uh, we have two new subscribers. Yeah. One person uh, I think is. I know uh, them both. Yes. One person. Yeah. The first person is uh, Ayaka Cindy Kato, K A T O. She's Japanese. Oh yes. Yes, and we know her because she's been to our show, mm-hmm. and we ate at her deli or whatever. Yes, it's her called. like Japanese deli thingy. It was awesome. Yeah, she gave a lot of money, dude. Dude. So much money. So we much we money. need to slide into her DMs later. Yes. And she is uh, sending, uh, she's she's funding my 401k directly. I, know. Actually. I, I like that we're getting more and more Japanese people. I feel better about myself. I'm not, I don't feel so good about it. I don't like really having too many Japanese people in my space. I do. As Vietnamese people are prone <laughs> to be. <laughs> Hold on, where are you? I'm going to replace you? you with a Japanese host in six months. That's, that's <laughs> the plan. Uh, then we got our second uh, newest member, Vincent Vaughn. V A N. So this is my this is my buddy. He's using he's using he as he calls it his slave name. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what he <laughs> is. He Asian? He's Asian. He's Viet. wow. He's Viet. But uh, so you know he's trying to he's trying to obscure his identity. But me and him go way back. He he and I, he went to, he and I went to college, and he was one of those dudes. You have college friends where you're like he you're in the same circle of friends, but you're like you don't really talk to each other because you don't really know each other. Yeah 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 yeah. And yeah. then like, um, it's not like we weren't you know friendly or whatever but then he went away for a long time he lived in vietnam for a long time and then randomly he like came across our podcast and then he was like looking at the picture you know our picture that's on the podcast and he's like that looks just like mike there's no way and then he like dug some more and he found out who it was who it was yeah so now we we reconnected wait but you told me this story like a long time ago this is so it took him this long to believe in us to donate money um I mean, can you blame him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Can you blame him? Wait, so he's Vietnamese? He's Vietnamese American. Yeah, yeah. So, so what's the what's the story with Van? Do you know what's going on with that? Uh, he just made that up. I think he's yeah. He's just. Uh, I mean, Van's a very common Vietnamese name. Oh, also. it is. So it is a Vietnamese name. It is, but it's not. That's not his name. What's his real name? I can't tell you. Whoa, <laughs> really? I don't know why he doesn't want me to tell, but you know that's how it is. That's how he rolls. Is, does he work for like the CIA or some shit? Or Hell like, no, he, he just wor- he he has his own Amazon store. <laughs> He has his own Amazon, but this is mad. This is very him. He's very like he's kind of like into like into just like like disrupting the system. Do you okay, know? Okay. Like he like works for himself. You know, he like lived in Vietnam for a long time. He didn't okay. want you know. He wanted to like do his own thing. Mm, yeah, this yeah. is a very like communist thing, like hiding your last name. I'm thinking of I'm no. This is this is. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you said that to him, he would stab you in the face. Oh, yes. Well, thank um, God he's in Vietnam. He's, uh, no, he's here in America. Oh, he lives really? in New York City. Oh, he's well, been to Vahak oh, City. Oh, well, we're, we're based in Baltimore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's good times. He's, uh, he's a crazy dude. So, All right. Well, thank you, Vincent and Ayaka. We appreciate it. And listeners, um, if you want to get in on this action, check us out at patreon.com slash Asian, not Asian pod. And uh, give us your monies. And uh, yes. you know, if you give us five bucks or more, you get access to bonus episodes. So that's fun. So definitely, definitely check that out, man. We recorded a few, and they're uh, they're fire. fiery. They're fire. Yeah. Um, let's get into the mini story of the week, dude. Yes. What do we do this week? We went to we we went on the road road yeah, gig. road dog dude road dogs. I took you with me. You did. <laughs> Finally, I was, dri- I was driving the van. <laughs> I we went to North Carolina. We did a a, a little talk slash show at yep. North Carolina State University. Yes, shout out to CSU. Thank um, you for having us. It was sick uh good you know awesome kids uh we was, yeah i mean was, for, so college shows are typically you know um, the ones i've done they've been like comedy shows but this was they wanted us to come down and do like a speech about asian identity. we were the keynote speaker, we were the keynote speaker. for yeah. uh asian pacific islander desi desi apida yeah month 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 because yeah, yeah. the real uh asian pacific islander heritage month lands in may and they don't have school right 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 so, right. so they, they moved it up so it's like march to april for yeah. them and they had a whole bunch of events so they have things like hot pot night right viet night viet night yeah which i'm glad that we get our own night it's sick <laughs> and then uh and then we were the keynote so we we went down there on thursday yep and we talked about like how we get into comedy mm-hmm. how, how we're balancing a day job in this yes. and all the stuff that like their Asian parents probably don't want their kids to know yeah we, we let yeah. them know we're, all, we're just job counselors disguised as stand up exactly. comedians but the most interesting thing was discovering not discovering but like encountering these these what I call southern Asian people yo so not south Asian people no, southern, southern Asian, Asian people so S- southern people they're you know everybody was very polite there yeah. this whole like southern mentality of like yes ma'am no ma'am you know blah blah, blah. and all these asian kids kind of had that yeah and they were very um they had a very strong local identity yes so they were like like for example when i when we went there i uh was running late after landing and so i ate at popeyes so yep. i got a popeyes yeah yeah yep. and i told the kids like yeah i had some popeyes huh and then they got so pissed they were fucking pissed they were like you didn't go to bojangles that's right and they, they were so passionate, were so about, passionate Bojangles. about Joe Jangles and they, they knew Joe Jangles. Joe Jangles. <laughs> and they were so energetic about biscuits. You've yes. never seen Vietnamese kids so excited about biscuits. It before. was crazy. And they the, were all about it. And then we were like, we didn't know what cookout was, which is like a f- in and out burger of the South. It's like, yeah, they, and they bur- got mad at that. And they that. were like, you never heard of it. And they yes. flipped the table over. Yeah. And they were so Southern in a lot of ways. And they, some of them had accents. Yes. They had Southern accents. I'd never had seen an Asian accents. person. With an accent, and they say y'all. They say everybody says y'all. That was so fucking weird to me. I love saying y'all also, but I don't know but where they were doing I got it from. I, unironically. I You're mean, doing I, it because I don't do it ironically. I do it because I don't got time to say you, don't you time all. Time to say y'all. You, you know, so um, so they all say y'all. They they're all very yeah like, yeah. They kind of have that southern like yeah. thing going on. Yeah. But that's the thing about Asian identity, man. We're not we're not a monolith. You know you what? Know? What's interesting though is that Vietnamese people we're mad we're mad southern. Mm. We're like very southern. We're I mean, Vietnamese people in Vietnam yeah. are like they act southern. If you if you took a bunch of <laughs> Vins and Tians from Vietnam and dropped them into Alabama, yeah, they wouldn't even notice for a while because it's just like they wouldn't know that they're in a different country. Yeah, it's already hot. <laughs> yeah, it's hot as fuck. Yeah, uh, there's uh, the ocean. Yeah, um, life is a little slower. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of sifting in the water. <laughs> You know, there's uh, there's fish. It's okay. Yeah. You know, that's why I think New Orleans Vietnamese shit like makes total sense. The Cajun thing. Yeah. yeah Southern yeah, yeah, Vietnamese. Yeah. I mean, South Vietnamese people. Yeah. They, if you listen to their accent, they already sound like they're from the South. They're like, mm. wah, 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 wah. you know, like they're just so like <laughs> so mellow, man. You know, it's super cool. That was a great analysis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing I want to mention is we were having a we were having a, a great time. We were we were killing. We were we were, we were, we were having right? fun. And yeah. then what happened? We saw these two white girls. <laughs> They so got up, they got up and left. So the so <laughs> they got up and left during a show. So <laughs> I would say the total turnout for the show at like at the at the high water mark was maybe like forty five kids. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, and uh, you know this the school is a big school, but they don't have like a ton of Asian people. Right, it's like seven percent. And this was put on by like an Asian club. And it's so put it on by sense. an Asian club. So yeah. it's like you know an okay turnout, uh, but like two of the people were these two white girls, and you know hey that's cool you know yeah, and they they were sitting down and at a certain point I looked up. And they had left, 
and I pointed it out to everybody. And uh, I don't know why we're trying to appease the white man. But I don't know. You know? We always, we're always trying to appease the white man on this we podcast. We really are. But, uh, you know, but it's, 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 you know what that is? It's the comedian reaction. You're mm. killing, but two people aren't laughing in the front row. And, yeah, that, you're that, and that's, all, that's all you can think why about. Why wasn't Brittany? Exactly. And, and, and I don't know. Amber. 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 Yeah. Why weren't they, why weren't, why weren't Amber they with it? I mean, they AMBR. left like 10 minutes in. I was like, I was going to do stand up later. You guys should stay. You know? I know. I don't know. I don't know what. So, we were talking about very broad things. But I know. Fried chicken, and I, I tried very hard not to attack the white people. <laughs> I was I was using very neutral language. Yes, you know exactly. I, don't, I don't even think I said white once. I don't think so either. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, so they left. I think maybe they got confused about yeah. who we were. I think they were looking. <laughs> they were looking for the Wreck It Ralph screening, <laughs> right? Which was going to happen after our. Right, um, that was later on. So. Yeah, so that was fun. The South is a good place, man. The South is a good place. It was so chill. Um, I looked up. Okay, so we stayed at this Airbnb in this nice neighborhood, not yeah. too far from campus. Yeah, and we saw yeah. this awesome house. It's uh, two ten and a half. Um, oh, oh, Taylor Street. Taylor Street. Oh, can we say that on here? I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. And uh, I looked it up on Zillow. Okay. How Can't much afford was it? it? How much was it? You guess. 400. More. Five? More. No. Yeah. Six? More. No. Three quarters of a mil, dog. 750 mm-hmm. for fucking Raleigh or whatever the Raleigh, place is. Raleigh. Nor- Raleigh. North Raleigh. North Carolina. Raleigh. <laughs> and it was, it was cool, man. Um, yeah. So we... we <laughs> We, we got bored at a certain point and uh, after we were waiting for the show to start and we were at our Airbnb, so we like good for, went for a walk to yep. Arby's. Yep, that was fun. That was cool. Yep. Really nice Arby sign. Yep, yep, yep. And then, oh, we went to another cafe. Called, it was called Eastern Parkway Cafe or something. Yep. And we go inside and it's a hookah bar. Right. Remember? There was, there like was a, so much hookah. There was like a Middle Eastern click in that area yes we saw a lot of hookah bars there was like and four like hookah bars in a row and they're all say, completely full i saw a lot of like uh middle eastern restaurants and stuff around there yeah it was really interesting i don't know there's, a lot, there's a lot going on in the south that we don't know about you i know? think you know we gotta we're, we're gonna try to get back down yeah. there maybe hit up uh you know duke or something like oh that. yeah man so thank you again to north carolina state university for having thank us you, man. thank you thank yes, you yes, to yes. Uh, marcella thanks everybody um okay let's let's get into the interview yes let's do the, it our guests have been patient enough we've been yapping and yipping for 12 minutes now absolutely um we have this is a very special day because we not only have one guest but we have two guests mike okay oh my and gosh. uh i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you who they are so one of them is a, is a comedian writer she was on comedy central arabia that's pretty cool she was on gotham comedy live mm-hmm. and the other one is a journalist and producer at al jazeera and she's written and produced for slate the outline national geographic and vice news and together they host the no fly list podcast where they talk about americans america's least favorite minorities <laughs> <laughs> what it's like to be profiled detained and stereotyped so i'm so excited um please everybody please welcome to the show Athiria coop and lita bogarty everybody yay, yay. Oh, we're yay. Yeah. Yeah. Like a comedy show it is, <laughs> it we, it try is. To, we try to do like a comedy show i like it yeah i love when comedians do intros because Why? This is a theater, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, YouTube viewers. Um, (laughs) Because they always know how to do intros. Whenever I've done a show where there's not a comedian introducing me, they always read your whole bio. They read your whole bio (laughs) and they they say your name like five times. They don't end with your name. They don't end with your name. They start with your name. And then it's like a poetry reading where they're like, oh, this next person. And then it's like real serious. And I'm like, okay. They did that at North Carolina. I know. It's just not what you're accustomed to if you're not doing that. If for you lay people out there, if you ever want to be really lit when you're hosting and want to do something, <laughs> yeah. always end with the person's last name. name and then draw out the. So the I, would last be, name. I would I would bring up a theory like this. All right, give it up for a theory. Yeah, cool. <laughs> do that every show of yours that I've ever been to and I'm like whoa is that how I, did, I should say hi to you yeah. <laughs> what's up Athir Yaku yeah obviously yes. that's how you should say it. I have like an Oprah voice when I introduce people now I'm you like, should yes welcome Fumi Abe yeah. 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 like I've the definitely done that the downfall with that is because you're drawing it out people like don't know what you're saying yeah. so they uh, can't like look you up afterwards you also know if you mean? have yeah. like an yeah. ethnic name then people yeah. are like oh, yeah, what if you have an ethnic what name the, no oh, one's yeah. gonna find you I had a 10 minute conversation yesterday with uh uh the the host at a club yesterday he was like yakum i was like no no yakub and he's like yakub and i was like no why are you saying it? <laughs> no yakub uh, it was like not hard and he repeated it like he was just repeating it i could mm. see the anxiety building in his face oh my does that God. happen to you guys uh sometimes i mean i say they're like first of all people think abe is my first name like my last name is abe abe but if the host doesn't know who i am they'll be like where's abe is abe here oh my I'm God. like oh that's me and it's like oh it's fumi abe and then oh, do you think your, your your name is abe fumi <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because Abe is like Abraham, right? Because you're a thousand years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's your like, full name? It's not Fumi. Masafumi. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. not hard to say. No, it's not. But you know, it's, it's confusing because there's a lot of that's a lot of vowels. Yeah, yeah. but that's how like 
Japanese and Nigerian names go. You know, uh, we do a lot of vowels. Yeah, yeah. And I had to change it like a year and a half in the comedy because I would just introduce myself to people and they wouldn't remember my name or you know, they couldn't get it right. So I just changed it to Fumi. Did they think it was like Masa space Fumi? Or like no, person? they'd be like, <laughs> they'd be like, Mas, Masa what? Like they'll say that on stage. She got by Mas. <laughs> Mas would be cool. Mas oh, Abe. That's a cool yeah. name. Mas That'd Abe. be pretty cool. Mas Abe. Um, Masa is also cool because it sounds like master. You your whole identity now. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I actually, I recently YouTube myself, Fumi Abe. Because uh, I do that sometimes for my self-esteem. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, I found that there's another Fumi Abe. <gasps> what? Yes, you have to kill him. But it's a girl. It's actually Fumi E. It's F U M I E oh. Abe. But she's a heavy metal drummer, and oh. she's got like twenty thousand followers on YouTube. And she covers uh, metal songs. That's but on, so cool. She's fucking you know, cool. Okay, yeah, at least you have a cool dope. person with your name. Yeah. Sometimes I will uh, look at porno, yeah. and then the porn. <laughs> The porn I'll actresses, observe the, the pornography. Porn <laughs> the porn actress's name will be Fumi, and I'll be like, God damn it! No, no, no! And he comes immediately. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny because there's somebody, there's a really popular Japanese porn star, and her last, her first name is the same last name as my sister. Oh so no! I can't, I can't watch her. I can't no. watch her. I know a whole genre ruined. Oh um, man, it's good times. But uh, yeah, thank you, yeah thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for coming on the show. You guys are from the south, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 you guys from the south. We Alabama, both right? lived in yeah. Alabama. Okay. So were some of the things we're talking earlier, did that jive with you? Bojangles? I was feeling very triggered I've by some of I've seen really? Bojangles. I've never, <laughs> I've been, never there. been there. I've never been there either. Yeah. Mm. I, but I would, I would do it. I would go. Yeah. Is there a Bojangles? There's Bojangles in Alabama? Yeah, yeah. I believe oh, okay. so. Yeah, okay. I've seen okay. a bunch. Yeah. Must Otherwise, I'm like, how would yeah, I? Yeah, I'm like, how do I know it? Yeah, yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I was like, has... That doesn't exist here, right? Anywhere? I mean, I've never no. heard of it before. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Yeah. I don't think it does. Okay. I hadn't heard of cookout. Cookout? I don't know cookout. Yeah, I don't know that. It must be some other thing. But so when did you guys live there? I mostly grew up there. I oh, okay. B between Alabama and Palestine, naturally. And Layla lived <laughs> as there. As one does. Yeah, as one does. I was there for high school. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where were you before Alabama? So before that, I was mostly in Greece. And then before that, like every year in a different city. So well, Are you like, uh, like, are your parents uh, diplomats or something like that? No. Why they move no, around so much? No, they're just crazy. They're just crazy. Ah, yeah. That's the other they way. They just yes. make poor decisions about raising children or <laughs> having children. <laughs> Um, no, but my mom is Greek and my dad and my stepmom are both Palestinian. Okay. So my real mom basically was like, I'm taking the children and you're never going to see them again. Whoa. And my dad was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we reacted okay. to the divorce. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. And then year, <laughs> years do later, I moved to Alabama because I was like, oh crap. I have a dad yeah. Like maybe I should Hit him up yeah, And then yeah. that's what I did And then I moved to Alabama Because I wanted to go To college in the States I didn't know anything About Alabama I had right. never Never so thought sorry. about it And he was randomly there Because he works for NASA So okay. he And NASA has like A thing in Alabama yeah, So yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. we went there And I was just like Like I got there And I was like I, I've made a terrible like, mistake Back to Greece <laughs> <laughs> This was Alabama not worth it. Yeah. You didn't Google it? It was a different time <laughs> What time was this? It was like the early 2000s That's yeah, like the worst time to go there <laughs> We weren't We weren't really Googling yeah, back then Yeah we yeah, it wasn't Googling. like You could Google But you it's not like your brain Jeeves. was like Gotta Google that <laughs> Right 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 right. You right. could ask Jeeves still <laughs> yeah. For sure yeah. Wait did you go to Yahoo did Did you go to American yeah. school in Greece? Because you don't I have an accent Yeah I went to Greek school And I went to American school So I started off in one And then went to the other Because I was like very ambitious as a child so i was like i gotta go to college or whatever which i now deeply <laughs> deeply regret mm -hmm. but where'd you go to school same i went to michigan for undergrad and okay. then stanford for grad school oh Whoa. flex 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 subtle flex, flex. and where'd yeah. you go up there where'd i you go went up? to samford in undergrad that's not stanford and then i went to columbia for grad school well, you can say wow. <laughs> still, still flex still, still flex, flex. And, and when did you, you went to grad I school it. Yeah. yeah i don't know you went to grad school when she went what? to grad school for comedy yeah, <laughs> you didn't know how get a master's in clown college. Uh, I, I, that's kind of why I moved here to study oh, really? nutrition as a master. That's right, you're a nutritionist. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't know you had to go to grad school for that. You don't have to, but I was dumb and did it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I regret it. Yeah. Guys, so, don't go to school. So yeah, don't like, go to school. One thing Mike and I noticed in the South is like a lot of these people, regardless of the fact, you know, regardless of your ethnicity, they really they had a lot of Southern pride. Yes. They oh would, yeah. They they were so wild. So, so much. Do you would, guys have that? No, no, no. Really? we have the opposite. But we experienced it for sure. Yeah, but we like in Alabama, the type of Southern pride you see is like in my town at least. There were a lot of people who had bumper stickers that said everything I need to know about Islam I learned on 9/11. Oh shit! So it was oh. like, oh. like, oh, like, no. like oh, maybe yeah. our our, our pride, the wrong kind of pride. Yeah, they'll like they'll clash a little bit, um, just slightly. You know? Wow, <laughs> wow. So was so just tell me about what it was like growing up there. Well, you've heard my stand-up. 
<laughs> but the fun. listeners maybe the haven't. listeners look me up at Etheria Cooper. No, um, <laughs> I mean, honestly, okay, I know you came at a later age, mm-hmm. so maybe it was different for you, but growing up there, you don't realize like yeah. what that things are fucked up you know you're mm. just like oh you're just living your childhood and you don't really know what racism is and yep. like people like uh, you know think they're not sure what to think of you because they like know you're not white they know you're not yeah. black they sometimes just think you're mexican but other times they're just like oh it's too much to figure out but as a child it was just like a normal childhood and then at, i moved to palestine during middle school then i moved back to alabama and a month later 9 11 happened and that changed oh. it for <laughs> sure perfect timing Ooh. Ooh. coincidence yeah. also <laughs> I think not. I don't think you say move back. I think you say rejoin the cell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that was a very different time post Whoa. 9-11 and high school was kind of hard. And then I knew in high school, I was like, I need to get out of the state so mm-hmm. bad. And I, my parents wouldn't let me move for undergrads. So I had to stay there for college. <sighs> and then I, as soon as I could, left. Even with 9-11, they're like, you got to stay. Yeah. Like, That's crazy. I wanted to go back to Palestine where there was like war and bombings. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. This seems like, a lot That's better. That's way better. That's way better. <laughs> What is it? What is Palestine like? Oh, how do we answer that? Hey, hold on. Uh, Flowing with milk and honey. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just quoting my. But you, but you liked it there. Honestly, it's like a mini New York City with a bunch of Arabs. So basically, maybe Queens. So it's more like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Okay. That's Palestine. (laughs) That was the. I have a feeling that um, have you ever been to California? Yeah, I recently just went to LA and I've been to San Francisco. Is it is the weather the same? People always say that L, uh, not LA, Southern California is yeah. similar. I did feel this like sense of like oh, but it does get really cold during the winter in Palestine. Okay. Like it do, it has snowed before. I haven't been there in a winter in a while, but um, in the summer there's like it's very breezy and mountainy, mountainous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like de- deserty, desert, but not like the drop, sand desert, like right. the shrub desert, the shrub desert, which is right. why yeah, yeah, I think yeah. people compare it. Yeah. Yeah, like to, Inland to, Empire, I California. Mean, it sounds, sounds like a beautiful place. Yeah, it is. Nice, it's you know? beautiful. Yeah, you guys should go. We can, can we go? To, you guys yeah. can go. You, sure. sure. you guys can go. What do you we mean, have you more guys? rights there you than us. You people. You people. <laughs> you people. Yeah. Asian Americans. Can we also talk about how we're Asian and nobody talks about? Okay, that? hold on here. So okay. That's a whole other thing. That's a whole other thing. I feel like we have no identity. As I was, but speaking of LA, I was like part of like a group in LA. Like I don't know, called Southwest Asian. Southwest Asian? Yeah, it's Southwest Asian N A something. It was called Swana. And they do like a lot it was of like events and cultural events. Tech. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like all but, so um, what what Tex-Mex. what geographic so territory it would be, was that? It was Arabs and I think and this might make me sound really stupid, I think also Iranians and like Afghanis would the be stans? included. The yeah. Stans. All I, the thought stans. That was, see, I thought that was called Central Asia. That's what I thought. I that's, don't know. That's the thing. Technically, probably, but I think that region, the region of like what white people think is the Middle East, that's not actually the right. Middle East. Uh, I feel like people often think gets like lumped. Pakistan is the Middle East. It's yeah, like exactly. Not in the Middle exactly. East. Exactly. Right, right, yeah. right. right. So, well, we definitely have a lot of And there would definitely be people at Swana who were like Pakistani and like all that. So it's more, I think. Any of those groups, just like the Asian American Journalist Association, as I'm sure you guys know, is full of <laughs> is full of Arabs and yeah, any sort true. of people of color because it's a safe space for people of do color. You, do you guys want that identity? Do you want to be known as Asians? It's cooler than no, being known as it's wait. A, the <laughs> NA, sorry, the NA is North Africa. I just remembered. So it's North Swana. Africa. Yeah, it's that Swana. Wow, that's Swana. A, that's, that's really big. That's There's a huge also area. Exactly. Do we want to go that There's far? Mina. That's so big. That's I think we should be I know. It's it's <laughs> tough. I feel like sometimes you want to. Because it's nice to because we you're not going to encounter that many Palestinians. I guess I do because of the area of my work, but in real life you don't. So I think like th- when you're in America and you're like, oh, a Moroccan person, you're like, yeah, we're buddies, even though you're legit from Africa and yeah. I'm a hundred percent not. Right. And pe- oh yeah, and people think Morocco is and yeah. Tunisia is the Middle East. Exactly. It's like, no, they're they're Arab, but yeah. technically, but they're exactly. North, and Egyptians are North African. But yeah, anyway. and their culture is like, really different. So it's like I feel it's like in the American mind, it's yeah. like where do people wear turbans? It's like that's <laughs> what Arabs are. But the thing is, that's why Punjabi don't wear turbans. but that's what I'm saying. But like you know, in the mind. Kind of like yeah. people, you know what I'm That's saying? That's true. And it's then, where do they wear something funny on their head? Yes. Something yeah. funny. Something <laughs> you wear something on your head, you must be an Arab. That's, yeah. right. 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 That's right. true. Right. Like, right. how many, like, Sikhs have gotten attacked oh my because God. people right. think right. they're right. Muslim? They're literally like, we're not even from there. Yeah. <laughs> we're this is another hat. To do with this. this is a different hat. This is a different hat. It's a totally different hat. It's so true. 
That's crazy. Uh, my friend Manveer Singh, shout out, who was on the podcast. He's a comedian. He, he has uh, on the No Fly List. He has a very funny uh, joke about how Sikhs are the Muslim body doubles. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> they get attacked all the time. It's so true. He's, that is fucked up, man. So, do you guys have a lot of cultural things that you would say in common with the Asian American? I don't know experience. Experience. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like for example, like are your parents very gun on about education? education. Yes. Yeah, that's why yeah. we went to grad school. Even the most, week. Yeah, I wanted to be a comedian. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'll go to grad school and like, yeah. yeah. Um, I think Palestinians are one of the most educated like um, immigrants that come here because they, ve- I mean, and Arabs in general really value education. And of course, like our parents wanted us to be doctors and lawyers and engineers, and those exist in our family, but we didn't go that <laughs> that route. Yeah, and yeah, that's, yeah. Why we and that's, why yeah. <laughs> that's why we were disowned. And that's why we were disowned. That's why you're hanging me. out with us. Yeah. I identify strongly because I think we all have that similar upbringing. I think it's more also the immigrant story, not yeah. necessarily just that's like true, what country true. you came from. You know yeah. what, what's interesting though is that the way you guys describe yourselves as America's least favorite minority <laughs> because we're America's favorite minorities. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. pretty dope. Wow. So it's interesting because like you guys are like you guys are all just still trying to do the whole thing. I, hey, I want to come here and be a doctor or an engineer or whatever it is. But then like our experiences, let's just say at the airport are wildly different. Oh, totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no yeah, one yeah, sees yeah. you as a threat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's up my other question. You, you call it the no fly pod uh, podcast no sorry not a fly, no fly list podcast you know as a joke for you know getting yeah. profiled at the airport do you guys have any like airport stories <laughs> oh my god less in the US must be amazing. and <laughs> more in Europe every yeah. time I pass through Europe because I'm usually going either from the Middle East or from it, coming from somewhere they like the last time I was there I was coming back from working on like Syrian refugee camps and I was going through Germany and I always have trouble in Germany I don't know if this has happened to you with there but it's like the worst of all the countries funny, on, it is the racist? worst yeah. <laughs> let's, let's take a look at that <laughs> for a second I don't know <laughs> although, although we, to be fair, Layla, are you dressed like this? Because you're like, no, no, you're like the not, world's cutest exactly. freedom fighter. Right? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Like, I'm 100% white passing. There's no reason I should be profiled whatsoever. Mm. And then every time I go to Germany, like the last time I was coming through, all I had was my little like backpack, like coming back from like Greece and Jordan, I think. And they stopped me through security because you know you have to go through multiple levels yeah. of security when you go to America. Yeah. Um, so they stopped me and they were like, oh, you're testing positive for explosives. We have to go through. <laughs> the bag. No, they didn't say that. Yes, they what? did the hand, te- no. they did the hand thing. I swear for ex- to God, they did the <laughs> napkin on the hand. Oh, oh. Did it get all like and they were like, "Oh, you're yeah, the residue. Yeah, you have residue of explosives on your on your stuff. We have to go through everything." And I was like. Okay. Wow. So they they start. I was like, okay, it's just gonna be like when you go through TSA and you get the extra screening yeah. where it sucks and yeah, it takes yeah, a long yeah. time, but it's not like usually wildly invasive but this they took out every like from my toiletry bag like every think of thing of makeup every tampon every thong and they did the the napkin th- the, na- oh, the explosive napkin thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, every yeah. single item they broke a bunch of my shit like oh, no. perfume wow. bottles and wow. things like that and it was taking a long time and I'm like a feeble like weak excuse of a human so I sat down on one of my other suitcases that they had finished and then like six uh, security guards with like AKs came over <gasps> and they were like in their German action you sit down when you American police like uh, question you and I was like yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Was, yeah. I was totally, I was totally I'm sitting yeah. Yeah. Okay. and they were so offended that I was sitting out and it was like the longest That's thing funny. I don't even remember Whoa. if I made my flight it was the worst like worst airport experience that's terrible Whoa. Yeah. that's crazy I know. I've only had a layover in Germany but I haven't it had that it was a layover it that's was a layover thing, but it was going to America and whenever mm. you go to America like even when you I go was from Turkey to, to op- America it's yeah. like yeah, six actually, levels I've had of both. yeah I've usually security. flown through like Fra- Frankfurt to go to Palestine I mean my worst experience once like it's always that flying to Palestine or back and when I was allowed to fly through Israel that was not a fun the airport security mm-hmm. there is no joke um, especially if you're Palestinian probably not the best or associate with or Palestinian or associated with Palestine yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we, are we they, now associated? We can't go. Anywhere. Oh yeah, you're, no, we can't go. You're, go. you're on the no fly list for <laughs> yeah, on multiple sure. shit. shit. My, <laughs> my vacation plans. You should just burn your passports. Exactly. Right now. Not going you, anywhere. you have emails from a barguti. So if you try oh, to go right. to Israel, yeah, the yeah, yeah, email have, is, like, is watching us. That camera is probably on right now. <laughs> on your, you know what I'm saying? Everything is on. They have like We're political prisoners named barguti, yeah, so they're like, how do you know that person? I don't go by that name too. Yeah, exactly. Very hot. 
hot topic, yeah, yeah. hot button topic. Wow. Um, wow. But yeah, so you're on the no fly list. Congrats. Oh, yeah. um, but other than that, yeah, <clears throat> Israeli security, terrible. Um, on the way back from Atlanta, uh, on the way back from Palestine and Atlanta, they mm. like looked at my name and they're like, oh, you've been randomly selected. And I was like, how? Yeah. yeah. This no, was before no, no. it was like computer. It was, I was like, how? You just looked at my it's name. It's like they look at, they I just like, that. Yeah, I was like, that, that happens to me all the time they, too. And I'm like, they're look like, at can me. we see your I'm passport? To, I'm and I'll look like I'm going on spring break. Right. Like, and then after they see your name, they're like, oh, you've been randomly selected. I'm like, um, I don't think that's how that works. I think you, I think Middle Eastern people need to have stage names. You know, yeah. airport name. You so, know how, right? Uh, you know, you should be. Yeah. You should go by Athir B Jordan. You know, <laughs> and then boom, right, right That's in there. Actually, worse because like oh. I know a lot of people have changed their name, made it more Americanized. Then they just go through your history and uh, like, pull up like, your why did you change yeah. your name? Yeah, yeah. 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 that makes you look even more guilty. It, yeah. yeah, that's wow. insane. How many times have you been screened at the airport, Mike? Uh, like to we, that level well we can no just any any random search because we can compare the stats right now you know we're all like <laughs> right, late 20s early 30s we can we probably flew around the same time uh, dude. how many times have you ever been screened I, I make it I make it a uh, I probably shouldn't say this. I make it a point of pride that I can outsmart TSA agents. Outsmart? What do you mean? <laughs> I like try to bring different things. He's like, things. I bring so many guns. Yeah, like my drugs and stuff I, like that. I, and then like if they catch me, I just go, what are you talking about? And then like I just kind of like play it <laughs> off and yeah. they just go, Mur. All right. Dude, he's Asian. He's if fine. somebody th- doesn't think you're a reason to be like, you know, watched, then yeah. you can do anything I you know. Want. My dad yeah. has, um, sh- he, he like had a taser in his suitcase once. Why did he have a taser? <laughs> I don't know why. why? I mean, he got it because my dad, he lives in Mexico um. and he got um, kidnapped Perceived. once oh, or he got what? hijacked. He got he oh, got carjacked. No. Mm. They, uh, they, t- they stole his car and they beat him up and then they dropped him off on the farm. What oh the my heck? Um, so ever okay. since then, he, he carries a taser in Mexico. Justified. And he brought it to the US accidentally. Oh, but wow. they didn't even say anything. Oh, no. they, didn't, they thought it was a razor. They didn't yeah. even... TSA but has like a 95% fail rate. Like, <laughs> that is so high. Yeah, it's amazing. Despite all their, like somebody did a study and despite all their like ridiculous, like take off your shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't it's drink so water. Dumb. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, but I've never been, I've never been checked up. My, my, my record is, you know, 100 to zero. So. Really? I get a, yeah. few time, a few times. Really? But not like, you know. Yeah, because like you got tattoos and you look, you look bad. Yeah. You look yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I look like, uh, I don't know, maybe they, the don't, bad boy. they can't mm-hmm. tell for a second. So yeah. I want to talk about this. I want to talk about, you know, we were earlier we were talking about, um, you know, is the Palestinian experience um, similar to the Asian American experience? You, you guys have a whole new dimension of things you have to consider because you guys are very religious, right? You, you may be. Well, we're we, not. We are not. We are not. But, but you're from conservative yeah, background. Exactly. Yes. You're, but th- those are the things that your parents religious. really wanted to push on you guys right. when you're yeah. younger, right? Asian people, we don't really have that. I mean, you were Catholic, but. I don't know. Do your parents oh, give a shit? True? I mean, it depends from like, you know, obviously race to race or whatever. But I feel that like the like religion and your identity are like w- are like very mixed together. Yeah. yeah. And for Asian people, it's like it's an, it's another, you know, it's more of a separate thing. I'm, I'm you know, nobody would say that. I'm, you know, I'm not a practicing Catholic or Buddhist, and no one would be like, "Man, you're not Vietnamese." Right. Mm. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. just like, "You're still it's Vietnamese." Thing. It's just like you're not religious. Exactly. But I feel. And you know, correct me if I'm wrong. That like religion and your political social identity are a lot more mixed together. Yeah, I think that's right. It shouldn't be right. a lot of, because a lot of, there are a lot of, especially in Palestine. Um, you know, there are a lot of Christians there, and there and yeah. they also, especially when it comes to like the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, they feel kind of left out because the conflict has kind of been like you know slam and yeah, that's not yeah, fair yeah. because like mm. hello there's yeah. like half of us here that are also christian and it's like not about that right it's more about like just the you know human rights and all of, anyway but i i do think that it, the culture and the religion is like they're very much tied together but i don't know if someone like knowing i'm not religious would be mm. like oh you're also not arab oh it happens to you me really be, i think it's because you look arab but because i don't look like anything in particular like it, it's like a ah. constant argument like people would be like oh like what religion are you and i'll be like oh i was raised muslim and they'll be like no you weren't i was like my family's palestinian like i know that oh, i know wow. i know i know what i look like but like my family's palestinian and trust me they look exactly what you're imagining so like they'll pass your <laughs> test wow. There's a turban. Even no. if I don't. <laughs> yeah. There's Funny several turbans, so turbans. Turbans on the babies. Everything. Turbans, the whole, scimitars the whole everywhere. Yeah. Um, but they'll be like, no, you're not. You're literally not. Where are you actually from? And I'll be uh. like, I don't have any other things to tell you. Like, I don't have any other, um, like, I don't know, like West Virginia. And then they're like, okay, okay cool. And oh. in reality, I've like never been to West Virginia. So it's always like shit like that. It's very, it is intertwined because people also, especially in America, think that like Muslim is like an ethnicity for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Think it's like and they think all Arabs are Muslims. Yes, and they, yeah, yes. exactly. Mm. Yes, yes. But that just 
yeah, it's I don't a shame. know if our own people. Yeah, but maybe your experience. No, is I a little think our, our like uh, no Palestinians always think that I'm Palestinian for oh, sure. Oh, I thought you were saying. Sorry, I miss. No, no, the question. No, no, no. I thought you were saying like Palestinians will tell you you're not no, Arab because no. you're not religious. In, so I'm in like, cause you don't, America. In America. Mm. America. Yes. Okay, what yes. were you asking? Was that what you're asking? <laughs> no, what, I, I mean, how I Americans think, view us or how? I think it's both. Both. I was, okay. I was wondering if that is like, yeah, for sure. I mean, for sure in America, like, you know, white people think, you know, Muslim is an identity and if you're mm-hmm. Muslim, you're Palestinian and if you're Palestinian, you know, blah, 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 you know there's yeah. this whole or, thing. If you're yeah. Palestinian, you're it's Pakistani. Pakistani, you're Taliban. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so for but for us it's like a little bit a little bit separated. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess it's like, you know, do you find you know, obviously must find that very frustrating because there's there's all sorts of things happening, right? Yeah, we're we're not you know we're multidimensional, but people yeah. think like this one thing about you, and it's frustrating yeah. to always all feel on the defense of trying to be portray a different story. And I mm-hmm. think that I don't know that feels burdensome sometimes, where you feel like you always or maybe I'll speak for myself. I feel like I always have to be an ambassador for what a uh, uh, like a moderate or not. I'm a liberal Muslim, I guess. I don't really practice, but mm. um, or what is like a. Palestinian I'm like oh I'm not dangerous guys like don't worry like I always feel like I have to project like this image mm. to, because I feel like I'm representing like a whole people and yeah. that can be a lot I feel like even with other Arab Americans or not even just Arab Americans but Muslim Americans I'll encounter some that will be like much more tattooed than me like have crazy hair colors like do whatever other perceived as non-muslim things but because they just don't drink like they'll do drugs but they won't drink so they're right. like i'm much more muslim than you right and I'm, like, oh. I'm like oh that's interesting there's yeah. a whole yeah spectrum like, of like it's, it's very weird. weird there's like a weird it's not competition but it's no like, there's definitely, definitely. Th- there's definitely a similar thing for asian people like you could be like um there's certain things which are really asian so obviously like the language thing is like probably yeah. the biggest oh, thing yeah. if you speak if you right. speak sure. the language yes. but then sometimes like vietnamese things for example uh, we've talked about this before it's like do you have a lowered car like a car that's been lowered right <laughs> what uh, is that oh lo- <laughs> like a lowered car yeah, for yeah, some yeah, reason yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. vietnamese oh yeah, my or God. like do you get in fights at a pho restaurant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How good is your, can you sit in the fox spot? Like, those are like, they're about arbitrary. Yeah, 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 yeah You yeah, know, yeah, even yeah. if you... That's um, funny. I yeah, it's, it's just like, wh- why? What? What? Right, you know, right. so I, is, is there a similar thing for, for Muslim? It's like, and you don't do any of these things, but I don't eat pork. So it's like, you're yeah, real Muslim. Yeah, the pork yeah. is like the last straw. Yeah. The pork <laughs> the last is straw. Like, it is. It, is. it totally is. I have a whole joke about it. It There's is totally... Pork I don't and then pork. alcohol. See? Pork is above alcohol? Yeah, yeah like, damn. As, or not above alcohol. It's the it's like the last strip of like Muslimness. Yeah, because it's like at that point you're like, I don't give a fuck. I'm even gonna eat pork. <laughs> I have a friend. I have a friend. She listens to the podcast, so she knows who she is. But she is she's Chinese, but her family is Muslim. Okay, right? Yeah. And her one Muslim thing is that she doesn't eat pork. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's so many Chinese, Chinese Muslim, man. Things. So yeah. many. I know, right? Because that's all people Chinese. She's not even. Eat. She's not even Chinese. That's why she had to choose. She had to choose. What do you mean she had to choose? You know, Chinese Muslim people, or Chinese? yeah, she had to. No, well, I'm, I'm joking. But, you know, she's just like you're not. Are you really even Chinese if you don't eat pork? Right, because yeah. that's the uh, right, cause Chinese that's people tough. eat a lot of pork. Right, yeah. doesn't make any sense. There are a bunch of halal Chinese restaurants that say no pork Chinese. That's what yeah. they're called. I've oh. seen oh. Oh. You, gotta make, you gotta make the distinction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's funny. There were some people visiting my office from uh, the Middle East. Let's try to keep it vague to not dox them and get me fired. But um, <laughs> <laughs> there were vi- like employees of ours that work in the Middle East came to visit, and they were like practicing like real Muslims real Muslim. but the first thing that they did when they came to America was eat a ton of pork and all they wanted what? to do is eat bacon add bacon to their food like no where way. can I get pork and it, yeah it was hilarious wait, so where can I get so pork wait, they're, they're no longer practicing <laughs> no they were just visiting so they were <gasps> it doesn't count because oh, it doesn't you're, count? In, you're in the holy land because you're, yeah. you're in the yeah well, you're in the, the land of, of the infidels so yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I've never heard that but I know a lot of my friends who are Jewish and keep kosher at home yeah. their parents will allow them to eat pork or they eat they yeah. all eat pork outside the home and I never understood that part yeah. but maybe that's uh, kind of similar to what it you're is saying kind of I think because in the Middle East like um, depending on where you are and again I won't be super specific for the sake of my livelihood but <laughs> there's like a lot of like secular Islam that people in America I don't think understand yeah, just like you can be like secularly Catholic and you right. go to church and you do all the celebrations but you're like whatever. I don't know still yeah. have sex or something yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. Catholics can't do um, in the Middle East more so than it is here and I think that's true for a lot of immigrant communities like immigrants become kind of stuck in their ways and a little bit more they want to they overcompensate by being more conservative holding on to their roots yeah Yeah. um 
and I see it a lot with like Italians yeah, and Greeks and stuff and, too. And people like I can only speak for Palestine are way more like in general liberal reli- like about religion than they are here like in Alabama. Yeah, exactly. They're, the Muslims there who are Arab and Palestinian are like crazy religious versus yeah. I'm like mm. you guys everyone there is like drinking and, and dating and exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And even yeah. even yeah. in like Saudi Arabia where it's illegal like people will have their servants oh, they drive have- over the border buy alcohol smuggle it back in so that they can have parties and then like during the daytime they act like they're like the pious. most pious yeah. yeah 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 yeah. that makes sense it's like you know in, in a lot of ways i think uh people will, like leave the country because they you know it's like the puritans right they like mm. came over here because they were like let's keep let's get real christian and yeah. then like start this whole like community or whatever but i think it, it's all about what you said like yeah. your identity you know not, now that you're here in this other place like what what makes me different and you kind of like try to use that i guess yeah. take ownership of that or whatever yeah that happens mm-hmm. to asians people too i I'm think sure. so when people yeah. when asian immigrants come here they become a more patriotic i think right mm-hmm. um and because of the other you know cultures out here you have to like really be bold or your your culture your traditions your identity will be like threatened you yeah. know what I mean so I think that's just a result of that I was listening to your podcast this week you said something very interesting that resonated with me I, I forget what you're talking about but you said something like I don't feel Arab American I feel Arab and American mm-hmm. ah, yeah. I love that Arab American is its own culture yeah. I went to school with a bunch of people in like Palestine who are Arab it's definitely its own thing it's okay. like yes. wait, you went to school with oh. Arab Americans in Palestine in Palestine like so they were Arab American but they were in Palestine yeah and so they identified more as like this I I don't know how to explain it exactly but I feel like yes part of me is is Arab part of me is like American but there's definitely that third identity and it's a it really is a culture on its own because it's like you're not fully like you don't speak the language you haven't got and these aren't like the only things but you probably haven't visited your country of origin Mm. Um, you don't really have this like real or sometimes you have a connection but it's like this uh, um, abstract connection to your culture yes um, just through what your parents have told you and then you're also like I don't the way I describe I think I always think of like Dearborn is like how mm-hmm. I would describe the but Arab the or Chicago the, yeah. the key difference though in what you're describing like what you're describing as Arab American are people that are several generations removed so people in Dearborn it's not their parents oh. that came it's like their grandparents oh. or their great but even though I know people in Alabama who their parents uh, yeah. immigrated they're first generation I'm also first generation but my parents like I lived like um part of my life in Palestine and I like went to school there and I like would go there every summer so I just felt Mm. like I had a different experience than some of my friends who like didn't have that connection or if you ask them like a lot of Palestinians like will say they're Jordanian because it's Mm. just more palatable (laughs) and like that would always like really is uh, it yeah (laughs) Yeah. I mean I love Jordan (laughs) to to Americans Jordan doesn't sound threatening it's not it's a political yeah because they've never heard of it but if you oh yeah yeah, Jordanian nothing comes to your mind you hear Palestinian you think yeah. Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah. You think Michael, yeah, my friend Nora, who's from Jordan, has yeah. a joke about that. People are like, oh, like you're from Michael Jordan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think I mean I, I definitely see that because I'm I would say I'm Vietnamese American because I've I've, all, I've only been to Vietnam once I don't really speak the language blah 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 but then you have a connection to the the, the place right yeah. so you physically go back there you know you you remember what it's like you you know you kind of like are stepped in between two worlds or whatever yeah what what are your what is, what is your view on like Arab Americans then you know do, they, do you feel like they're she a lot different them. than you yeah. I hate them because. Oh. In some ways, yeah. In some ways, we totally connect and we get it. But then, in some ways, I'm like, oh no, I don't really like identify because they probably don't speak the language as well as you do. Yeah, and some right? of them don't, and it's not even just about that because some of them do speak it, but you know, they speak it the way they learn from their grandparents, and right. like, which is a very like kind of funny old school dialect. Oh, that's funny. Um, yeah, good day, sir. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Bad yeah, they're British. <laughs> yeah, we're British, actually. Um, it's really hard for me to pinpoint because I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying that was my that's my personal experience yeah, 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 and yeah. identity. But I, I, how would I even explain? Okay, this is how I would explain it. It's like Italians from Italy coming mm. here versus Guidos versus like <laughs> versus Staten Island guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, we don't do that. What are you talking about? Right. Even if they were first generation, yes. It's like that's how I think of. There are like Guido Arabs. 
Oh, oh yeah. yes, okay. Yeah. And that's there. who are Arab American. That's how, those are some. But there, are, I think. But there are some that are not like that. Totally. Yeah. Mm. There's the, a spectrum for sure. I don't know. But I think speak. the thing is, Dearborn is not like that. Yeah, Dearborn, you're right. most more people Arab, are Arab. super fluent in Arabic. Like, yeah. Both Fasa and like whatever their local like they're because they're not all Palestinian. They're yeah. like from all over, and they're very like clicky with the ethnicity. So if you're Lebanese versus if you're right. Iraqi they versus if together. you're Palestinian, that they stick together, and they're very conservative. And the way that I picture Arab Americans is. Not, not conservative. conservative? It's like, oh, like Arab American they... princess, which is like, like I mean, well, what is do you that? guys know Jewish American oh, princess? Oh, J.A.P. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Japs. Yeah, 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 I was like, can I say um, that? Is that offensive <laughs> to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought it was weird when I first moved to New York, I heard really? Japs, and I was like, what the oh, fuck are you talking about? Are you still saying that? I mean, I wasn't offended. I was like, really? You guys use that now? Like, it's like, yeah. it's like it was like 2010 at the time, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. But they're like, no, Jewish American princess. Like, you could have chosen a different acronym. Yeah. Because there are like, apps I guess apps. Arab American princesses <laughs> that don't they're they're they look they look like Kardashian-esque so like we don't yeah, like you said yeah. but they don't speak the language and they don't care about the culture but like if you ask like well, what's your ethnicity they'll be like oh I'm like Lebanese or right, something right, right. And what makes them Lebanese it's the food what, no, they, what so do they do just, it's just, just like their, their history yeah, right just, their, just, their, history. Yeah, just like okay, their family okay. right um, but those are very different from like the Dearborn Arabs who who a lot of them are super religious super activisty. like like mm. Dearborn has like half and half it has half the guidos and those are the ones that tend to be like more like my big fat Greek wedding gi mm-hmm. ah. and then the others that are like super conservative like right. won't marry outside of like right. their like even not just Arab they won't marry outside of their distinct Arab and like you know they ha- they go to Islamic school they do all those things and they're like summer Lebanese like they go every summer like yeah um is there a is there a lot of um so like you know there's a lot of Asian hate right me and me and me and Fumi we represent different teams, right? Oh, between in, countries. In, 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 yeah. yeah. Is there a lot of like uh, Lebanese versus Palestinian yeah. versus blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Okay. There's so much internal I, racism. There's yes. so much. Love it. Um, I'm like, who? Who? Do, I mean, Ira- I feel like Iraqis get a lot of hate because everybody thinks Iraqis are like, especially Shami, like, like yeah. Lebanese, Palestinian, Jordanian, who f- are like the fancy Arab, think that. <laughs> oh, you guys have that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. okay, okay, the Levant well, yes. area. Oh, the Levant area. Yes. You know, let's, let's make again, a list. Let's I'm make thinking, a list. <laughs> I'm thinking it's because it's like California. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I always try to think. I'm always like, it's kind of like California. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Sorry. it's beautiful. They have beaches, like you but know. But I think Palestinians and Iraqis also have a special bond. For some reason, when I meet Iraqis, like we both been fucked. That's oh, because she's like, you are really progressive and like you're a young person who has logic. But if you talk to any <laughs> to old the, Levantine, yeah. they're like Iraqis I'm are sh- barbarians but I mean and they're specifically mm-hmm. Palestinian. They d- no, I'm I'm, oh, I'm talking legit talking about oh, our family. Oh, I thought you're talking. And Iraqi Arabic is like much like. Like all of the other Arabics are like somewhat similar and like you can easily understand them, but Iraqi Arabic is like its own like dialect yeah. um, where it's much harder to understand and like, you know, all this stuff. I mean, I have tons, I have tons of Iraqi friends yeah. and I love yeah. them. You know, <laughs> <friends are> Iraqi. <laughs> and I feel like we, we like look, a lot of them are fair like me. So we look the same yeah. and like, you know, we have a lot in common, but at the same time, if our parents were in the same room, like they would be like, well, it depends on their politics. So yeah. yeah. Also, wow. but you know, even, even with the politics, there'll be, there's such, is, it, is this a hist- is this a historical thing about yeah. like conflict and stuff? It's like that? a historical thing about conflict, but it's the same with like Kurdish like yeah. um, people like Arabs look hardcore down on Kurdish communities, yeah. which mm. is kind of like us and Cambodians. Mm. Probably yeah. exactly like what, that. What's weird is like it's not, it's not weird; it's unfortunate. But like with Asian hate, it's now today we just kind of shit on each other yeah. verbally. Like joking, okay. yeah. uh, but but with um, like with a lot of Muslim countries like in the Middle East, you know. They're, they're actually at war. So that <laughs> adds like... You guys are actually right? fighting. So that adds like... Yeah. A, it, it makes it really intense, I that's, think. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. I think here in the States, it's it's so far removed that like, mm. especially young people, like yeah. like Athir and like myself, won't yeah. be... Like, I'm not going to be like, ew, an Iraqi person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but at the same time, if like my coworker is Lebanese and she does something shady, I'm going to be like, girl, it's because you're Lebanese and Dang. you're shady. Yeah, 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 You know, I have tons of Lebanese friends. Let me preface this. Yeah. But they also like... Uh, you know feel like the more superior Arabs a lot of times but that's what I'm saying yeah. that statement alone is like 
racist racist for sure like but it's th- true <laughs> <laughs> really no because okay yeah okay we so, joke about, I so mean, where I know, we this, joke about it where does that like fancy thing come from because i, I think it comes from french colonialism right ah, yeah wow. yeah the, 100%. Oh, it's always the white guys, no, always always the white guys. guys. <laughs> teaching people about cream and stuff yeah because yeah. they speak french it's Lebanese like Pakistan, people speak uh, british french. pakistanis Word. versus right yes. we talked about versus pakistanis from pakistan yeah. right yeah that nuance of like yes. they, yes, they yes. see themselves more as they have we got touched by the white man yeah. We, we, we're yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. We speak British English. We don't mm. speak yeah, with right. a, a, a like Pakistani accent. You Hong know? Kong people are like that. Yeah, because they were British and shit. Oh, right, right. Same that. thing. But they were colonized, but they feel. But I'm like, why are we yeah, feeding into yeah. this? Yeah. Why are we feeding into this, like, it, white man? Because man's Lebanese people are real? shady, and that's why. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I love it. Dude, we're definitely oh, wow. not going to be able to go to any of those countries way, anymore. Not in the earth, just for the record. <laughs> that's oh, man. Good. That's good. I um, mean, they just say the same about us. So yeah, it's no, kind of everybody, wow. like, Palestinians are supposed to be, like, slimy, like, salesmen. That's what I always. That's oh, really? Oh, my God. I'm thinking, like, that one guy from Star Wars, you know, who used his feet as his hands. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I've never seen Star Wars. He, he, owned, he owned Anakin Skywalker. You know, hello, my friend, come in. You know, remember that guy? Yeah, that, that's pretty accurate, yeah, I feel that's like. Lebanese. But even within Palestine, there's a lot of like the North and the oh, South. Yeah. Oh, and they're yeah. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, those people mm-hmm. are like... God, yeah, yeah. This conversation just reconfirms that there's no hope in this world. No, there's everybody no. hates human nature. No, everybody but the, hates everybody, is, man. But that's, but that's what I think it, there's a lot of hope because the more we can talk about, like, I mean... The Ali Wong joke about fancy Asians and jungle yeah, Asians. Yeah, that was so. That's amazing. That, amazing. like, spoke to me so deeply yeah, because right. I'm like, the even, like, like the words for, like, Arabic sweets will be, like, hella racist. And it's oh, like, what the yeah, hell? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. Well, I, I just thought of one. A, yeah. <laughs> don't say it. Don't oh, say it. Oh, no? Okay. <laughs> I mean, because it's so bad. They changed the name. They realized it was no. <laughs> Well regardless Like regardless. yeah it sucks And there's <laughs> definitely like You know like when I go to the Middle East People love me because I'm so fair yeah, yeah. And they're ah. like you're so beautiful You're not half Greek You're not half white It's You're beautiful because you're Palestinian That's why you're so oh, beautiful so And they're like girl that. Yeah, yeah, and then like the rest of my family looks totally different, and they're all, and I'm like, but what about those Palestinians? They're like, whatever. You well, know? those aren't real Palestinians. Like they're, yeah. 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 <laughs> they're bad Palestinians. <laughs> yeah. Damn. you're like so pure. Um, so there's still this. There's still there's, obsession yeah. with whiteness. Mm-hmm. I mean, in oh, every yeah, culture, right? Yeah. Yeah. Every yeah, yeah, yeah. every minority, every immigrant, and of like pale. civilized versus Big barbarian, pale. right? Yes, yeah. being white makes you seem like in, in their eyes like more civilized. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Mm. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Um, I want to wrap up this interview uh, with her final question. If oh, we're ready, yes. Yes, okay. if we're ready. So, I'm not ready. <laughs> uh, we just want to get your take, um, Mia Khalifa, <laughs> <laughs> the Muslim porn star. Yay or nay? She's not a Muslim porn star. She's, not she's, she's Christian. Christian. Yeah, that's she's a problem. Christian no, I'm, not even, I'm not even informed. Yeah, that so you know, would be Christian great if she Lebanese. does. She wears a hijab and the one she's naked. Know you know what? You know, so so you know what would be great if she was Muslim? She does porn, doesn't eat pork. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I, okay, I have a limit. Okay, I'll put anything in my mouth except, except pork. pork. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, oh that is god. the case. No. Like, that, but yeah, yeah, go ahead. It, it's like you're. Oh my god. Yeah, we talked about this at, yeah. at great length, I think. Oh, thank god. Point. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> I have no. some videos queued up. Yeah, 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 oh right. my god. <laughs> Like, yeah, if you're Muslim and doing that as a statement to reclaim your identity and be like, fuck this, like, I kind of get it. Like, it's still destroyed. That's not why she's doing that. That is absolutely not why But you're Christian and doing that? Like, then you're putting on a costume, and that's when it gets, like, problematic. And it's offensive. Yeah, it's super offensive. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm not going to say it's fine to be as offensive when you're making fun of yourself, but yeah. at least, yeah. like, you are making absolutely. that choice. Wear yeah. a nun's So you're putting costume. on a costume of yourself. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. To be, yeah, wear a nun's yeah. Yeah. Why does yeah. it have to be at the job? You know yeah. what, though? This is all because we still got to, like, cater to those to those things. Because, like, a, yeah. a, a, like a, an, an, a, a the fetishist? seemingly Arab woman wearing a nun's costume yeah. wouldn't make sense to, like, yeah, the consumer. Exactly. Yeah. You know what's They'd fucked up like, about that? Happening? So that video that went viral with her. It's fucked up because Which one? It's, yeah, there's, it's, well, there's a bunch. There's, the one I'm talking about is uh, it's uh, one of those like milf step do- milf stepdaughter bang the stepdaughter's boyfriend one. Mm. Okay, and it's it's extra fucked up because they're both wearing the two women are wearing hijabs. Oh, it's yeah. Mia Khalifa and this other porn star named Juliana Vega. She's fucking Spanish. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and so they're, they're doing the oh hijab thing. We really mm-hmm. need to get some woke consultants in. Is, is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there a fetish out there for like there must be right? Yes, a hundred percent. Yeah, hijab. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
representation does Diversity. matter. Representation but does matter. There's yeah. more representation in uh, with hijabis and porn than there is on TV. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, oh my god. Shit. You're that's absolutely true. right. Oh my god. I'm gonna write that down. That could yeah, be a bit. That's a good one. That's a really good bit. That's a good bit. Write that down. Write that down. And they're not even Muslim. They're not even Muslim. So shouts to Mia. Hell yeah. Everybody check her out.